All right, it's homework help week nine, day three. The first problem I'll help you with says a shirt is 15% off the regular price. If the shirt is normally $25, how much are you saving? So it says the shirt is 15% off the regular price. So if you can imagine 15% of the regular price and the regular price is $25. That's how much you're saving, but we've got to figure out how much money that is. So remember, type in 15% times 25. Or if you don't have a percent button on your calculator, move your decimal twice to the left and type in 0.15 times 25. And if you do that, you will get 3.75. In other words, you are saving $3.75. Now in the next problem, it says find the least common multiple of 8, 12, and 15. And the bottom one says find the greatest common factor of 48 and 72. I'm helping you with this one because we haven't done LCM and GCF on homework for a while. So in least common multiple, you have to list. Remember that L helps you remember list multiples of 8, 12, and 15 until you find the first one they have in common. So I'm going to start with some multiples of 15. I'll do 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105. And then I'm going to do 12. So I have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. So they both hit 60. So we want to think, does 8 hit 60? Does 8 times anything equal 60? No, it's not going to hit 60 if you count. Now, you can list them if you want, but um, the closest it's going to get is 8 times 7 is 56 and 8 times 8 is 64. So guess what? We've got to keep going. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to do some more of 15. So 105 plus 15 is 120, then 135, then 150. So I'm going to do some more of, of 12s. So 60 plus 12 is 72, plus 12 is 84, plus 12 is 96, plus 12 is 108, plus 12 is 120. So these both hit 120, so will 8 hit 120? Does 8 times anything equal 120? Well, I'm not sure. I don't know my 8 times tables that high, but um, I can do 120 divided by 8 and see. So 120 divided by 8 is 15. So 8 times 15 will be 120. So guess what? That means if I were to continue adding 8 to 64, which would be 72, 80, 88, 96, 104, 112, 120, it will hit 120. So the least common multiple is, is 120. That one was a pain in the butt. Now let's go to the greatest common factor. Now remember that word factor means we want to do factor trees of 48 and 72. So let me get my eraser ready because I'm going to erase and make some room to do some work here. So, let me start with 48. I'm going to do 8 times 6. 8 is 4 times 2, and 6 is 3 times 2. This 4 I can split up into 2 times 2, and then I'm going to bring down each of these numbers. Okay, so this is the prime factorization of 48. Now, I'm going to do 72. So 72, I know 8 times 9 is 72. So 8 is 4 times 2, and 9 is 3 times 3. 4 can be split up into 2 times 2, and I'm going to bring down this 2, this 3, and this 3. All right, so now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to circle all of the common factors. So all the twins, so basically, this two has a twin, this two has a twin, this two has a twin, this three has a twin, this two does not have a twin. So I have four common factors, so I have to multiply them together. So are you ready? Two times two is four, times two is eight, times three is 24. 
So that means the greatest common factor or the biggest number that goes into both 48 and 72 is 24. All right, that was a long homework help video, mainly because of that second problem. I hope that helped, and thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, make sure you ask me. Thanks.